Hello and welcome. In higher education there are different locations for assessment from degree program related exams via module exams to individual tests in each course unit. But as some of these assessments are mostly held in classical formats there are now more and more machine-based test formats referred to as electronic assessments or e-assessments. But what exactly is e-assessment? By our own definition, which you can see here, it is crucial that the computer is central in all phases of assessment in general design and presentation issues as well as in all evaluation and grading processes. Depending on the degree of automation different e-assessment variants can be defined. For example, on the Virtual Linguistics Campus, our linguistic e-learning platform, we used computer-enhanced assessment until around 2006, although we only computerized the presentation of questions. The evaluation was carried out by hand and was delivered via email. However, since 2006, we have gradually been moving to a full automatic evaluation, at first with simple multiple choice tests, later also with many other assessment types, which we will look at in a second. So today, when we talk about e-assessment, we mean electronic test scenarios where design and presentation, as well as evaluation and archiving, are completely realized by the computer as we defined it in 2012. Let's now take a closer look at these electronic tests in modern inverted classroom scenarios. In such teaching and learning formats we have implemented a sophisticated system of electronic tests. Integrated self-assessment that allows the learners to judge their own knowledge and formative mastery tests via which learners can perform a knowledge check after completing the digital phase and document their knowledge before the in-class phase. Well, and then there are summative competence-oriented tests at the end of a unit. In all these cases, internet access is available. And this is what the electronic knowledge tests look like. We have audio-based selection tasks, input tasks, drag and drop, and originally we also had multiple choice tests. However, we abandoned them in favor of what we call dynamic choice tasks, which allow little guessing and are thus more than just substitutes. Today, these test types constitute the backbone of electronic knowledge testing. Well, and here are some electronic competence tests in my subject, linguistics. These tests can easily be transferred to other subjects. In selection tasks, students have to choose from an arbitrarily large number of elements those that satisfy certain conditions. In analysis tasks, the results have to be typed into a text field. Or take our transcription tasks, which involve a virtual keyboard, or our counting tasks in which the number of elements that satisfy a particular condition must be submitted. In all these tasks, the computer has an easy game in the evaluation. The learners, however, have to apply their competences to solve these tasks. So far, I only mentioned one thing casually electronic exams. They are combinations of individual competence-oriented electronic tests. And this modular principle can also be used in the development of diagnostic tests. With content-tailored combinations of knowledge and competence tests, the student's aptitude can be tested before a module or even before the beginning of their studies. And since the electronic tests are easy to use and already familiar from the learning units, there is no need for test exams 
or introductions to the electronic exam system. Let's summarize. Assessment is an indispensable component of modern teaching and learning scenarios and today it can be realized electronically in many cases. Whereas simple electronic knowledge tests have been around for some time, electronic competence assessments have only been added recently. Once implemented, these simple electronic tests can easily be combined to more complex assessments such as diagnostic or summative electronic exams. So much for now. Thanks for your attention.